Let's go guys, welcome back, today I'm going to show you how to play Kiana. Now this is a super fun assassin uh, that I personally enjoy playing and she's also really really good in soul queue and has been like that for a long time now guys. The thing is though that she can be pretty difficult to play properly so that is what I'm going to show you guys right here. Passive is going to empower the next auto attack or ability on each target. You can see the circle below that displays the cooldown on that passive. And um, if you pick up a new element, then you can refresh that passive. And it has to be a unique one. So right now, I have the river element. If I press W over the terrain right here, I'm going to pick up the earth element. And then there's one more, which is the green element. And there you have to press W on the brush. And they have unique effects. And you can start using them as soon as you get your Q. But the W also works as a dash, by the way. So you can use this to hover walls and such. And now we got the Q, so the uh, river element is going to root the target. So this is your CC. And therefore it makes sense that you use this at the start if you can. And you can see right here, so when I use the first element and then I press W, the Q instantly refreshes. Which allows you to get two Qs off really fast. So that's important to know and it's also important to know that you have to use two different elements when you fight the champ so you can proc your passive twice. If you don't do that you're gonna lose out on a lot. You can just stay back and then use your Q to last it from a distance. Level 3, this is your um, mobility spell. It's a point and click ability guys. And what's really really important right here is that during your dash if you press your Q Kiana is going to automatically aim at the target, so you don't have to aim with your cursor. And that's really important when you're engaging on the enemy champ and such. We are playing with teleport, but ignite is completely fine by the way. And the earth element guys, it deals bonus damage to low HP targets. So that makes sense to use this at the end when you can. And the grass element makes you invisible, so that one is great for kiting. I personally like to use it if I'm for example fighting against a champ who can trade even or even better, then you can use this to get an advantage. See this circle below almost expired, that means that this element passive is ready to go. So to combo, you want to pick up the lower element, so you're gonna go in, EQ her, remember to weave in auto attacks, then you pick up new element with a W. Oh my days, how lucky is this guy? He is so lucky. I might die. Should I troll it? Yeah, let's go. Now I pick up the um, element right here because it makes me invisible. Like this is really good for kiting and such. I'll just back off here so we don't die for no reason. I have teleport anyways. This wave sucks, but I can't really do anything about it. So, what you do nowadays is that you're getting the Hydra first. It gives you nice damage and also wave clear on the auto attacks. Also another thing right here, if you're walking close to the corresponding element type, so the ter terrain right here with the earth element, you get some bonus moon speed as well. And this W also has a passive that like empowers your auto attacks with damage and, you know, attack speed and such. I walk close to the um, terrain right here when you have the earth element and when you're roaming if you have the river element of course you're gonna move faster in the river and start by clearing out the vision but see EQ with the uh, river element is going to root the target then you pick up a new one with a W and it's really easy to hit this is why I walked I don't know why he's mid again And just use the Q to last it like this, guys. But remember, it's really important that you understand that if you are engaging on the target, the EQ combo is going to make Kiana automatically aim at the target, so you don't have to do it. Alright, let's go. We got the ultimate up. The fun part... First of all, it's like a CC that's going to knock the target in the direction you choose. Afterwards... 
if you knock them into the terrain for example then it's going to stun as well and it's going to like form a explosive zone as well that stuns people and it forms around the terrain so for example if i use it right here for example then it's going to form all the way around there can be a massive blast zone Oh, that missed my bad. My bad, bro. Oh, that's another fight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's so dead. He's not. Oh, she died to this room. Okay, nice. Oh, I'm so dead. You can dash through like this by the way, I just died right here, but you can dash through and you do it by if the target is closed then you just have to stay around here and dash through. It's like Yasuo's theme, it makes you dash in a fixed distance. Bro, the waves are so terrible for me, it's insane. Look at how much I lost because of these random fights. I'm not gonna move for a while, I'm gonna focus on farming. Because I'm losing so much on the ARAMs. Walk close to terrain with the earth element. Teleport us out on the Oriana. Also, if you get the Yumus, it's a bigger spike early on. Yumus is really nice. But see, what I did is that I knocked Oriana into the terrain, so it ended up stunning her. But my W was on cooldown, that's why she did not die. Otherwise, we could have gotten her. Emo K okay, top. Looks like he's fine. Warwick secured the drake, so that's awesome. Since I was probably close to me, I'm not gonna engage for now. But always two different elements. And if you can, try to use the um, earth element at the end. You know, because it deals bonus damage to low HP targets. I don't see Sin Sao, so he's probably here. They are most definitely pre-mates. And if she's playing this far up, it probably means that he's here, otherwise she would not be doing this. But um, having way clear early on actually makes it easier if you want to be roaming and such. Oh no, cannon. Ribberonis. Is he still here? He might actually still be here, based on how this guy's playing. But my flash is up soon. So ideally, you want to EQ in. Like this. So what you do is that EQ, you can do this for the flash combo, then you immediately knock the target into the terrain so they get stunned. And then you can follow up with a earth element. But if you're using the Q without having any element, then the range sucks and the damage also sucks. Well, that was a sick dodge. You can jump over the wall like this, guys. Makes it easier. Bro, he's even... Cringe! We're gonna reset. We're gonna get the Brutalizer. I'll just TP him. Wait, my TP did not work? What? He's like constantly hovering mid and messing up my waves. Bro, why was he scared? What? He was here as well. But it's not a jam where you're gonna have a lot of CS, but it does become a lot easier to farm and wave clear when you have AoE damage. So you can actually keep up and farm and such when you have the uh, Hydra. Let me just mute. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna place a no ward over here because obviously we are getting camped. Fung, I like to wait around here and if she comes. You, she, if she's smart, she checks with the queue first. The two boots, okay. You can dash through the minions like this as well. Since I might be there, yeah.
He's really squishy as well. Get him. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Oh, my. What is my man doing? Uh, what is that? What is he doing? Hands are bot side. Now we can start looking for fights again. It's way easier picking up kills. When you have ignite, obviously. But teleport makes you scale better. Because you can actually be in the silence. Obviously, Kiana being an assassin, she struggles a lot against champs like the Sinsar, you know, Bruisers and such. Bro, I cannot help. I cannot help. Like if um, Quinn comes from the other way around, I just die because my flash is not up. And Sinsao is gonna focus me. And he has this item right here, so you never win against him. Oh, Warwick does not have ults. I guess we just abandon. Abandoned mission. Why oh, yeah, this guy Smith though? And he's really fed as well. That's gonna be a huge shutdown if I can get him. But you're looking to get like two items. And even better with the third one, of course, because that's why you get the armor pen. So you actually start doing something against the Bruce as well. Why is my support? Why does he have this one? What? Look at how easy it is to push as well and such. Alright, so now we can finally get the Hydra. Usually I like to get tier 2 boots early on, but this item is really important. That's a big spike and you can get the sweeper because you want to be roaming around a lot. Now this game was a bit unique. Of course we got camped a bit and since I constantly clear out the vision, freeze the waves and such. Are we trading? Not worth it for us, but... Good one, gonna jump over. Bro, just die, what? I thought that maybe she might flash over. So that's why I flashed into and then knocked in. Bro, this, this guy should not be playing Nautilus. Like, he should be, be playing Janna or Lula or something. Like, he's hiding? He's so playing so scared. What? He's so scared and since I was topside, I don't understand. Should I CP her? Get to this room, but she's just gonna fly away if she sees it. I see. I don't have flash up either. Nice. The advantage of having teleport. Bit risky to take this path. Because I could just get flanked. We'll see since I'm not. We can take her, she has no flash. Oh, I misclicked. Still dead, so... Good move by the Tito, I misclicked. You need to EQ, by the way. Don't try to manually aim it, because that is just going to miss. Just let the jam auto-aim it, and if you don't remember, the way to do it is you are using the Q while you're dashing in your E. That's some massive int. That's some gigantic int. She's gonna teleport, no? 
Maybe I can take it before the TP comes in. Sucks. <laughs> Unlucky. He is so tanky. We are not fighting this. Are we? Are we fighting? Oh, I am so sorry, bro. I am so sorry. I ain't it. So sorry, man. That was so bad. We don't have enough people. Estra is here as well, so we need to uh, get out. That was a terrible, terrible ult. She has to seek us right now. Remember, she can use that to dodge your ult and such. Oh, he got to recall, nice. But this tower's going down, that's for sure. Bro, who are you focusing? What? Okay, just die then. This guy's so dumb, man. She has Seekers, like, who's this guy focusing? That's a 650 gold shutdown and he's running on T Oriana. Jesus. If they do this stuff, I would just let them die, because we don't win this fight anyways, because he went for the wrong target. Just the things that's going to like make people stuck is that you don't understand simple things like this. It's gonna be really hard to climb. Always keep an eye on the items and also constantly think about who should be the main target. Might throw a hook from here. Okay, we see him now. Well, can't do anything alone. We need to get the Estrel. Like, he's the only target right here. Need to find a way to take him out. We do have an Ash ult, so we can try to play around this, but... Right now it's looking pretty rough, because we have a inting bot lane. And a jungle doing nothing the entire game. At least it did get the Drake, so that's okay. okay nice. Go Timo. Hey, just pick up, just pick up, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, guys. I'm gonna wait for the Yumus. It'll be a lot easier to take out the Estrel with Ignite. Now we have some mobility as well. Gonna walk close to the terrain once again to abuse the bonus movement speed. Ooh, another kill. You. Man, it's gonna be fun with AP uh, Timo because of the shrooms. Okay. I don't want to constantly go for air ramps either though. They get the Astro, so that's nice. I just want to stay bottom push actually. Since I was gonna be there, I hope they can take out the Orianne before he comes. Take off guys, it's fine. We should uh, be taking the Drake. This might be awarded actually, so I'm not gonna stay here. Just poking a little bit if you're taking a fight. I don't think we are, but... Any damage helps. Clean up. They're not doing the Drake, so that's good for us. Okay, remember, Assassin, your goal is to get to the backline and get the carries. So I want to be reaching the Estrel. That's my goal. I get to the Estrel, we're good to go. So I need to find a way to get around. So it's watered over here. And my lens is on cooldown. I guess that means that it's secure, no? Yeah, it is. Oh! That's okay. It's greeting for... The Drake. That's fine, we have three Drakes right now. Even though they are ahead, we still have three drakes, so we are not losing out on as much as we could. 
Just pushing a bit in the side lane so I can catch up XP and farm as well. I like to hover in the corners like this and somebody comes like an AD carry or H. Why am I missing every single cannon? What is happening? I don't even remember getting a single cannon this game. Uh, you cannot kill this guy, he's too tanky. I don't want to mess with this, so you're just gonna run away. I'm gonna take this way around. Oh, Orianna's there and Thresh as well. I'm gonna pick up the HP first. Because they know I'm here, this one is warded. I'm gonna lock the corners like this. This Thresh is waiting to hook me. Kim was doing a great job pushing the sides, so he's applying pressure that way. I think I just start resetting. I'm trying to get some armor pen. I believe they uh they did nerf this item. And Cleave is actually also really good right now, uh, because they changed it. But uh, let's just buy this for now. Now we'll see. Because you need a lot of lethality now for this armor pin to really kick in. I'll just TP to help. Team is doing insane job. Oh man, he doesn't even need us. Let's go. Nice. Now we can take. The Baron, since I was out, and when he comes back, I can just turn him away. I'll just do this, and it should be fine. Kiana sucks at taking the objectives, by the way. So you typically just want to be zoning and uh, taking somebody out who's coming to uh, check. It's fine. We got we got it. Still need a bit more gold for this one. But what's really nice about this item is the slow. But they also kinda nerfed the slow on it. It is what it is though. We can afford it soon. Get this one. Right. Start hovering the river. Oh, it's so laggy, I don't understand. It is so laggy, it's insane. Riot Games and their Vanguard just completely... Ruining the game. Awesome company, by the way. Like, my FPS is never changing like this. Like, that's the entire reason it's feeling laggy as well. But ever since of Vanguard, is like completely messed up. And the ping as well. Like, it shows 50, but it's not. it does not feel like 50. It's like playing on 100 ping right now. Oh, so yeah, a bunch of animals. Working at that company, but can't do nothing about it until they realize Vanguard was a complete mistake. Right now, you have the armor pen, and it's pretty much optional what you build right now. They have a lot of shielding, Serpent's Fang is great, a lot of CC point and click, Edge of Night is great. Axiom Mark, of course, is insane because of low cooldown on your ults. Last rake. Nice. 
But at this point we can probably just uh, group up, that'll be fine to do. I can also just push in the side lanes and then they push bottom mid, whatever they want to. You can do this because you had teleport. You'll not be able to do this as often if you had ignite. Not pushing up any further. That's not something I can TP to. Because they die too fast. But the shrooms are doing so much. Or we can push mid and then I try to push top. At least try to make this wave crash and get some damage off onto their tower. I see the Thresh recalling. We might even be able to get the tower. I'm not gonna let her take this one out because it has a bounty. I'll just protect it and don't give them gold for free. Warwick is coming. Hit the ults. Oh, she's a bit too far away. Now he's losing a lot more HP as you can see. Oh man, sucks. Sucks. He got out. Oh, he's healing for so much as well. That's the uh, Thunder Sky. But nice. Hito is huge. They actually have a decent amount of shielding here, but it's not too bad. It was more if they have something like a Lulu or Janna on top of Orianna, then I would definitely consider Serpent's Fang. Right now it is not needed, so I'm just gonna go into the extra mark so I have even lower cooldown on the ult. Alright, so if he is not going top, then I'll go top. Constantly keep this way pushed. I also need a bit more gold until I can afford it. Yeah, just go walk close to the uh, terrain. You can see when I don't walk close to it, losing a decent amount of bonus moon speed. And I try to flank. And the Yumus is really good because the bonus moon speed. jump over let's go let's go oh we should not have proc this room it is what it is though get the tower please oh no I can't walk in here because I don't have flash up. I just used the ultimate to like protect the ash, but. That's not possible. Let's give them some vision. And we'll just push butt. Back to pushing. Oh, we got a cannon. Nice. Let's go. We got a cannon. Let's go, guys. And let's get the Axiom Mark. And also get a Guardian Angel, by the way. Maybe I could just keep pushing, but, but then again, I really want to purchase the item as well. And that's no way they're getting in here. Look at the shrooms. 
the thing we just do the uh, edge of night to uh, get this armor pen stacking up because it works off of lethality you get more armor pen based on how much lethality you have that's the change they made and also the slow only works now when they are below 50% HP but they will be against an assassin that's more to like make it harder to use on champs like the Israel. Because he is not getting a lot of armor pin right now from this item. Coming. Oh nice. It's fine. Drake is up, so I think I just push top side and then they can do the Drake. I might actually send everybody bot. Or maybe not. Okay, Oriana's here. If I can knock both of them into the terrain with the ult, then they're gonna die. But she has Sonya's. That's why I'm not just mindless, mindlessly engaging. Ah, come on, bro. What am I doing there? Uh? What am I doing? Okay, we're fine. I think we reset. DP bot. DP behind. It's not escaping. A bit more rough when they have Sonya's and such because you have to be even more careful about how you are engaging. You can't just insta engage whenever you want to. He also has the Arg in the shield, okay. But that's why uh, Serpent's Fang can be good. Gonna stay a bit further away for her ults. Nice, good job team. Good thing they did not vote yes to the surrender. Let's go. Game on the Orianna. One more cannon, nice. Alright, let's take one more. GG's. Alright, let's go guys. It is the second game and I always like to go to the river and then pick up the river element. So when you get level 2 or level 3 then you can start looking for a trait. And this time playing with ignite because this one allows you to, you know, play more aggressive and actually pick up some kills early on. In a lot of matchups. You can't all the time when you have teleport because that's a safer lane I would just stay back as usual and I always start the W you can also start the Q and it feels nice having the empowered auto attacks and the Q range when you don't have an element on it it's pretty awful so and the thing is that you also get a dash on a low cooldown with a W so if there's a skill shot coming at you you can usually dodge it with your W active. And you're just looking to stay back early on just like the last game. When you get level 2 then you can start throwing Qs at him but it's first from level 3 and onwards where you, ac you can actually trade for real. It's really easy to last it as well when you have, um, thanks to this passive. That's a good one, as long as you get to use the passive twice. So now I'm going to pick up a river element once again. And basically just repeat. As a result, secondary. That's a bit interesting. Now we can trade with him, he used to see. That's a good one. Short trade and now he's slow and then the next one you can all in. I always like to go in with the river element because it gives the root. And you can also dash through the minions by the way. If he's staying over here you can dash through this minion for example and then hit him with the Qs. 
that's something you do if the opponents are staying far back. Like if they think they're safe just because they're not within your E range, then that's something you can do. I think it's Lee Sin jungle. He's top side. Oh nice. They do not need my help. I'll find I want to stop him from uh, wiping out this wave. Yeah. Look at how long I was keeping my last Q, the uh, Earth one. I used the auto attacks, that's because I really want to make sure that he's, uh, you know, getting as low as possible, and then he was also going to flash away. And at that point, he would be out of my auto attack range, but he would be within my Q range. Fun is so nice to have for the wave player, but also a little bit of extra burst damage when you are getting, you know, within range. Walk close to the terrain here when you have the earth element, like this, so you can see the bonus wound speed right here. No summoners on Aurelion. Just gonna pick up the river element. We see the Lee Sin coming in from this side, so we're not looking to engage. Rip the cannon. It has a low cooldown, so you can use it for this. Otherwise, I'll be ta tanking a Q and a Kane Comet. Just last heading for now, because the wave is pretty big as well. He might be resetting, who knows what he's doing. Maybe he did reset because he didn't really get to buy anything besides the tier, I think. But see, because we had the ignite, it's a lot easier to pick up kills early on. You can also do it with teleport, but you don't have that same kill pressure. And in lower elos, it's probably better to just go ignite. Because if you pick up kills, you snowball, and that's all you want to be doing on assassins. Get the bone plating's out. And we just do the same thing. We have the ultimate up, so we can look for an all in action. I'm gonna wait for my W to come up. I can use it to reset the Q. So if you knock him into the walls right here where he gets stunned, then you can kill him. Because then he would be within lethal range. Against Aurelion, you pretty much just want to make sure that he is not wiping out all the minions with the E. Because that, that way he gets Hazard Stacks, and that's what you want to deny. I think Lee Sin was coming up this way. This way he's messing up. But if Lee Sin is here, he can of course shield him and then that would suck big time. Oh! You can do a fake room like this and then you can jump over. He stopped. Oh, that was what it seems like, or maybe he was there, I don't know. But if you let this way push towards me. Then uh, it's easier to punish him, because right now it's in a pretty terrible position. Things out. Fine. Now he's pushing the wave, which is good. But we also end up pushing the wave because we have... Dimat. In this case, we can just roam. Now he's so low, like he is within super lethal range, so if I had flash up, I would just flash him right now. Yeah, basically what just want to knock him into the terrain so he gets stunned and then you follow up with a guaranteed.
finishing ability. Flash us up in 20. We have to EQ, then you ult him. Like, you e flash and EQ. See, this is what I mean. If they think they're safe because they're outside of your E range, this is what you can do. That is what you can do. Still staying. Nice. Had to do it a bit fast. Because he's really trying to play super safe. Ooh, Jinx ult coming out as well. Okay, nice. Usually, if I play against something like a, you know, Lee Sin, Shaco and such, I like to walk further back when I reset because they have a pretty massive gap closing range. Boots, and uh, let's get a control ward and a sweeper. Sweeper because I will probably start roaming soon. Why is he even walking up? He should just reset, bro. I'm not gonna let him take this one out. Not happening. He also lost his mobility spell, so if he's ste stepping up right now, he's gonna be within lethal range once again. You see, it also really helps to proc the um, electrocute with the active. So that's also another good thing about this. I greet for the cannon. Yet he lost the cannon. Now he's slow once again, and there's a big wave stacking up, so we can just look for a dive. He might be spamming the Lee Sin to come though. Like he's not going to be here. Out this way, and try to get a plate as well before Lee Sin comes. Let's go. And we can reset once again. Bro, the FPS and the ping is completely doomed, man. Like, how could they mess this game up so much? Just with one useless Vanguard. I had no words, man. I had no words. People are like looking at the ping and saying, oh, it's only 48 ping, but it's not it's not 48, man. It's like it feels I told you guys, it feels like Playing on like 90, 100 ping. I don't know how you can mess up a game so much. Okay, we got the Hydra. So it's showtime now. Ideally, if I had tier 2 boots, that would also be nice, but it's all good. Sometimes I like to go this way around as well, when they don't have vision. And if he's stepping up over here, he can't really see me. Nice one, good job. It's a good thing that he cleaned out the wave. That's smart of him. We can go for the Lee Sin. Oh! Oh no! Oh no, bro! I had to push the wave. Another flash coming out. Bro, what is this man doing? Okay, so it actually worked out. Oh, the Sona's actually smart. He's actually smart. He stopped hitting me, so Jinx would get the kill. That's actually well played. I gotta give him that. Yeah, good job. Okay. Not bad, you're getting tier 2 boots now, and then into the Yumus. 
You can also get the humus first, by the way. Like, it's probably gonna feel better because you get this item. But the wake play is really nice. Things flashes out. Who rip Kaisa? Oh, no, mind. Why is he going back in? I'm surprised he only died once with how he aggressive he's playing. Oh, nice one. Beautiful. Beautiful. I like to also camp here sometimes because when they come to ward. Then you can take them. Come, Sajani, you have to come. Oh, it's warded. Oh, nice, Karen's defending. Perfect. We can also dive the Jinx if she's staying. Or oh, she is staying. Playing out the vision. There's a ward here as well. Was smarter first, she's not staying because that's how it's 1 HP. That would have been a disaster for her. If I had Ignite, I, I would actually also camp here sometimes. Or in this brush because... Usually some someone always comes. At this point on Kiana when you're this fat, you demolish people. He's not getting the stacks. I could just let the minions kill my minions. And look at my low cooldowns. I don't see the Lee Sin, so maybe I should chill for a bit. You're still very squishy, and Lee Sin has this Sundered Skype, so... Could demolish you pretty fast. Could maybe roam, so that's why I'm just gonna... Oh, no mind. Setting, so I think I'll go bot once again, since that tower is down. He has the Rylas, so definitely becomes a bit annoying now. There's a ward here. They got a bit annoying. Bro, what? Oh, I'm so dead. Jesus, man. Disgusting champ. Oh, you even had teleport up. I think Garen should be fine. The Giant should be hovering bot side right now, bot and mid for the Drake. He should not be top. I think he flashed as well. I should don't remember. But yes, I can just go side and so here is the disadvantage of having Ignite versus TP is that when the mid game starts, if you go into the side lane, you cannot help your teammates if Why is the Johnny always giving up the Drake? I don't understand. Can you check? Bro, why are you giving... Bro, what is this guy doing? He's so dumb. Jesus, man. Yeah, I even pinged him early on when he was topside and he goes top to kill you, I got. This is how you can lose the games if you have a ignorant jungler who doesn't know how to play around the objectives but only play for the kills. Really dumb. You have to play for the objectives, not for the kills, guys. And the uh, invisible one here is not going to help against the Lee Sin, so keep that in mind because he reveals invisibility. We need to kind of keep him stuck here, and then you can roam around while he's stuck farming. 
someone there. Oh, there's a Gigalt. I'm gonna get massive slowed as well. I don't have flash up and I don't know if this is worth it or not. But he has the Gigalt and we just get insanely slowed. Had to block this one. So I should be dead. They don't know how to play the team fight, so this is why things can get really bad. Because they're playing it as awful as they possibly can. Isa also needs to scale up because she's going AP. So she's not gonna have a lot of damage right now. She has like one time burst and then that's it. But later on, she's gonna start one-shotting people when she procs the passive. For now, she's doing nothing though. But she's been farming well. But they also have some ridiculous scaling with the Sona and Jinx are really well. And even the Urgot as well, I believe from level 9 and onwards, he's just insanely strong. I don't see Lee Sen, he could be here at any point. So just back off. We're gonna get the Yumus and then we get the Cerulus Grudge. Once we have that, then we should also be able to deal with the tankier targets. It's really rough dealing with them when you don't have any armor pen. Ransol is allowed to free farm, that's not good. Oh, it's a good thing we have this one. It's gonna help with the split pushing, so that's a smart item. Boys, now they basically just have to defend and um, he tried to pressure in the silence. Not caught yet. I could catch him here if it's not warded. I had to let him go in. Bro, what an animal, man. Jesus. What is he doing? Oh, look, one combo and he's out. If you can use everything, like two different elements. And the ultimate, getting that stun off so you can also get a bunch of auto attacks in. That's how you do it. I don't mind if it's a good play like the Kaiser something or the Garon taking the kill, but like the useless jungle we are having, he should not be taking a single kill from any of the carriers. But yes, he would get massively reported if this was high low. Which is not, it is not so. Not that bad since we are fed anyways, but it's really dumb. This guy is doing. Ooh, I also feel the FPS lag never happens on this PC. Just do your job for once and take the Drake. Okay, looks like he's securing the Drake. Which he has, should be doing much earlier, when he has a winning mid for example, because then he gets the help from the mid. I can always roam, Orion Soul cannot, because he's the one who will be at a risk. Hmm? They don't really have any armor yet, I'm not gonna buy the uh, this one, but I think it will still be good though. But also having ability haste is nice. This gives flat armor pin and then the other one scales off of... Lethality. He has a blue buff. 
which I would love to have. And the Yumus helps you chase people, by the way. Just kind of reset in the brush, I think. And tries to cancel his fly flying mechanic. I can get another W. Oh my god, man, really? Okay, he lost the flash at least. Was that not within range? He lost the flash for it and he does not have a single kill. Like, he got completely demolished. The good thing about Hydra guys is that it makes it really easy to farm as well. Because people tend to high, have high CS on the champs where they can wake clear really fast with. And Kiana is not really one of them, usually. But when you have the Hydra, it becomes a lot easier to do so. Oh wow, okay. Garon. Okay, both, both of them wasted ults. Wait, what's my Morgana doing? Wait, what? No point dying for this guy. Oh, he's also tanking. I have to help the Kaiser though. The Jinx is fit, but no shutdown. Bro, this guy has no damage. He has absolute zero damage. I should not fight with this guy. He's doing nothing in fights. But we need to take out the Jinx, like she's getting so fat. But I need to knock her into the terrain as well. But see, this game, even though I'm fat, it can become pretty hard because when they start grouping up, that team fight is suddenly insane with the Urgot, with the Arena and Soul, Jinx, and Sona. So that team comp is entirely dependent on team fighting, and ours kinda suck. Because we don't have anyone who can engage properly. And they can kite pretty well, they have a lot of sustain as well, we have nothing in team fights, right? No sustain. So they can constantly go in and out of the fights. He lost his ult, nice. His ultimate is out, so he doesn't have that for the next one. Why are we starting the Drake? Can we do it? Oh, if he actually killed the Sona, that would be ins insane. Now he dies for no reason. I need to take him out before. So annoying team fighting against this comp. Like, I can't get in. Why is he always extended all the time? Like, what are these guys doing? Using the ultimate at the end. When everybody is dead. Bro, I can't catch him. Jesus, man. Passive proc and uh, flash as well. Oh, he died. Okay, nice. Nice, really fun champ. Really fun. Do they have a lot of shielding? Not really. Edge of Night will probably be the item. Go for. And you just need to keep getting the Thalde so the Cerulas can get more armor pen. We're gonna lose another Drake, so we could actually lose this game. Like, it's pretty easy to lose it. It's 
silence would wipe him out. Nice. Okay. Blade's gone. This is what I mean. Like, their, their jungle is really good at playing around the objectives. Ours is not. Like, he's a complete clown. If we had at least the Drakes so far, then we would still be in a really good position. But because this guy is constantly just going for the kills and being on the wrong side of where he should be, this game is becoming harder for no reason. This is just an example of how some stupid decisions from a single player can make the game a lot harder. Even though you were in a winning position to start off with. I need to take the Jinx. If I don't take the Jinx, we're gonna lose. And it's really hard because he also has a Sona. Let's see if we can do something here. Takes with a W, I'm probably doomed. Oh, let's get the Sona. We have to get it, then we can do something. I can go on the Jinx this way. Oh, disgusting animal, man. Absolute animal, man. This guy needs a perma ban. Bro, this guy needs to get perma ban. Jesus. I was going to take it when the Jinx was walking up. But he pushed me into the Urgot. Yeah, he needs to be put him a vent. What a massive animal. They are pre-mates as well. Makes sense. He just caused, caused us the game actually by doing this. Actually just caused us the game because they get Baron now. Okay, let's try to camp in here. I don't have all dubs, so if they come too early, it's gonna suck. But I could take a kill on not this guy. He's too tanky. He has Bramble West and such. Maybe the least then he might come for this. We checked. Actually checked. That was the Jinx. Has to pick these ones up because they have a Baron buff and also super minions. So if I don't kill them super fast, I just end up dying. Ooh, that one did not detect me. There we go. He is 0 and 10, but. He's really strong as well because like he's been benefiting a lot from that team getting gold throughout the map. But killing him is of course always worth it. Like he's sitting on some pretty big items as well. Oh on earth do we reach the Jinx? Garen's also split pushing. I think that's the only thing he can do as well. If they recall then we can take the Urgot. Just have to survive. You make a joke in the face of your destruction. That is Okay, that's some shielding. That is some shielding, Jesus. Okay. We need the serp uh, serpent's fang, I guess. Watch the Morgana being Omega O extended. Finally, she has a Sonyas as well. No, she actually doesn't. I don't know what this guy's building. Like, he needs Sonyas. Because he cannot enter the fights without the Sonyas. He just gets one shot. So it's like the most important item Morgana has. He's just going complete damage. Okay, I definitely need the Serpent's Fang. For sure. It'd be nice with the Edge of Night as well. 
But now they get the soul. They could also be camping in somewhere. Yeah, looks like they were. Like, they're gonna take it before Sejani comes. And now they get damage reduction. Nice. And they have a million times stronger team fighting comp than we do. Vigor's gonna push top and none of us can do anything about it, I guess. They're not resetting. Are they gonna die or are they winning? No, nope, they are losing. What a bunch of animals. Actually, all of them. Stay here. Can't defend against this guy anyway, so we're gonna keep these animals in the game as well. We're not gonna let them out. They deserve to lose. Like, right now, all four of them are complete garbage. And also can't really hold. Jesus, that's insane. That's insane, even this guy is doing something now. But that's how, just how you can lose just complete team gap, like IQ gap and also champs. And that's how it is sometimes. But, also how, you know, you can play Kiana also when you are behind. You have to find a way to get to the carries. In this game, that would be the Jinx, but that's no way for me to reach her, because I don't have any follow-up. I'm gonna get shredded by their god, no? Ooh. Wait, can I actually hold? On Q? Look at the shield. Oh my days, bro. But it's actually not over yet. Oh my god, what a shield. I had no words, man. I'm coming in. But if I get ulted by the Sona, then I die. Probably maybe should not have ignited her. Because there's nothing we can get otherwise, like elsewhere. But yeah, Serpent's Fang definitely needed. It's like that's some massive shields and also Seraph's Embrace Shield. It also helps against that. So I have flash up, so I need to take out the Jinx. Like it's the only way. But they can I assume they can just teleport. To our base. I'm gonna walk all the way into the jungle and see if I can find the Jinx. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh my god, I misclicked so much. Jesus, I could have killed her. I misclicked big time, but now it's GG's. This one was on me. This fight. Okay, this guy is even worse. <laughs> this guy is a million times worse. That is some of the most disgusting thing I have seen. Okay, now it's over at least. Now it is over. 40 minutes game almost. That's how uh, to play Kiana. Hope this was helpful guys. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next one. GG's.